Uh, today we've scooted down to Port Hughes. It's an absolutely stunning day. It's about 32 degrees, very slight breeze. There is a ton of little bait fish. Every now and then I'm seeing them sort of bust out. So I think there's some level of predatory fish down there, whether that's salmon, whether that's snook, or whether that's a yellowtail kingfish. I've got three rods with me. I've got my squidding rod, I've got my whiting rod, and I've got the larger overhead with a float, and we're gonna put out a teaser as well. Obviously, I can't be fishing all the rods at the same time due to regulation. When we're not squidding, we'll be whiting fishing, hopefully, and also looking at perhaps some of these snook uh, or whatever else around here. is get a burly bag out as well. I tend to keep any fish frames and any squid guts and stuff in a two litre container like this. You can see it's got uh, some of the whiting from our Waralti trip. That's pretty good burly. In with that, I'll also put a sponge with some Tassie salmon oil. Just get this sponge and we just soak the sponge. Obviously you don't want it dripping everywhere, but just soak the sponge with the salmon oil and then that'll gradually come out as it's sitting in the water. Just stick that in there, trying <laughs> my best to keep it off me fingers and stuff because it is pretty stinky smelly stuff. So that burly bag will just float around there and eventually the frozen squid bits and stuff will come away. Bought some How's Your Tackle uh, Tommies um, from the Port Wakefield Bait Tackle and Camping. They've got a full range of the How's Your Tackle so if you're coming over York Peninsula and going through Port Wakefield they're great to stop in at. Got some cockles, got some gents because we don't know exactly what we're going to be getting. There is a little bit of a hole out here so that's probably where I'm going to bait up some cockles, get one of these tommies out on the teaser and go from there. So straight, that was just, sorry, straight through underneath, through there and clip that back on. And we're sort of fishing in that hole, so we want to sort of be a bit further out. There we go, wrap it around a couple of times. What we need to do is get us get our uh, trusty Inku set up out. Probably gonna go for a bigger one because they're generally bigger squid out this way when we do catch them. I'm just using it from the tees. I'm just gonna use the red head. These are great jigs. You know I'm a big fan if you've watched my other videos. Let's not forget the trusty S factor. As with most things, it's all in the preparation that you uh, get the results. We've got that on and we're ready. It's going to, um, doesn't feel like there's no, there's no, there's no weight on that. Going to grab a, a pilchard out to put on this other float. We're sort of targeting, hoping a kingfish or something large might, a snook or something might come and take. Probably just put a half pilchard on. Let's grab a knife. going to um, put that sort of half pilchard down here. This is actually quite dusty. I haven't used it for so long. But a mate of mine in the UK, I flicked him a, one of my recent shorts and he said, well, have you caught a kingfish yet? So he's given me some uh, inspiration to give it another go. Just a size three octopus. Um, and just through the, through the eye, get the ratchet off. out there's fine just put the ratchet on so we can hear it. it's free spooling give it plenty of opportunity to to run with it and then we flick up the drag so on the other rod we're gonna have our whiting rig a running ball sinker at whiting rig size 4 gamakatsu hooks and we're just gonna cast out into that little sandy patch out there uh, after we put some 
cockles on. Which cockles? Wow. Almost a delicacy bait. Not cheap whatsoever. Advice, use sparingly. Right, we're just gonna throw the shell out. The old Stephen. Stephen's just hanging around thinking he might get a free feed. Yeah, this is a little bit heavier rod. Uh, this is my uh, Red Belly three to six kilo with 15 pound line, though I do only have an eight pound leader. I didn't want to bring out my, my other smaller rod. Yeah, you gotta, I gotta start, gotta start buddy cutting back on all the crap that I take out when I go fishing. So we're just gonna cast that out there, let it sink and see if we can catch a whiting or three. So we've just moved the, swapped over, I guess, the whiting rig and the teaser. So I brought the teaser up close to this end, um, just because I think there's a bit more sandy patches down there and put the whiting rig down there. We'll see how that goes. Um, there's still plenty of this white bait out here, um, but nothing yet on the big rod. Down just into this corner here. Um, this is in the Port Hughes jetty where it just uh, widens out at the end. Um, the reason for that is I can see there's a lot more sandy patch down there with the targeting of the whiting. So hopefully uh, that works out. When I pulled in the big rod, we had lost that half pilly. Um, clean off, uh, nothing left on it. So um, not sure what took that. Didn't hear any um, clicks on the ratchet, but um, yeah, hopefully there's some fish around and we've got another um, half pilly down there. So I've mentioned this a few times on my um, community posts and stuff and maybe in some of my other videos but um, the reason I started this channel was um, was really for my own mental health I knew fishing was good for me to get out there and forget about uh, the pressures of uh, personal and professional life but I needed something to motivate me to actually go do the fishing Whoop, getting a few bites and I thought well if I start a YouTube channel then I'll have a reason that I need to go out every week to get footage so it's worked really well obviously you can't always go fishing every weekend but I guess it always really comes down to priorities and you know what do you prioritize your, your mental health or or other things so yeah hopefully uh, we can keep doing this I'm really enjoying the support ah, had a couple of little bites and then it's disappeared I wonder if we've been baited they weren't big bites. They did feel a bit whiting-ish, but I have seen a gentleman catch a King George whiting here before. It's actually at night. It was a good 38, 40 centimeter one from memory. Keeping my eye on that teaser as well. Um, well, I hope I haven't been baited because I felt a t only a couple of tiny bites. Yeah, okay, that both hooks. That's frustrating. Both hooks gone and barely felt any bite. starting to become quite expensive <laughs> using all these cockles and not catching any fish. Let's get back out there, huh? Oh, there's a bite. More bites, they're tiny. I might have to put the circle, tiny smaller circle hooks on rather than these size four long shank. We've got some Tommy Ruff out here too, or possibly even garfish. Yeah, they look like garfish. In which case, you know, we could put on a, a floating rig uh, and see if we can catch some of them. I'm gonna bring this in. As I said, I've had three or four bites and I've been baited again. I'll give it one more go with the whiting. It's early days, the tide is literally just coming in. I'm planning on being here pretty much to sunset. It's definitely longer type fish down here which probably a gar and they're literally right behind that barely so we're just um, bringing in the teaser just want to have a look at the actual fish see if there's been any action on it not a scary not even a crab has come up to try and take that which is a bit disappointing but anyway we'll get that back out that side so this float rig is a pencil float now i've got these down to size six gamakatsu long shank hooks with a little bead small split shot just to sink it down and another one the sheldon's gents <clears throat> so we could catch either tommies which i haven't had a feed of tommies for ages or garfish tommies there's no legal size i'm gonna have to recheck the, the garfish size obviously always make sure you're aware of your own regulations in whatever jurisdiction in australia or overseas that you're fishing and i'm thinking about 
doing a worm farm. So if anyone's got any tips or encouragement on that, put a comment below because I want to keep targeting some whiting some more. And as winter starts coming, the winter whiting, and I'd love to have worms as bait. Just gonna give that burly bag that's just behind you a bit of a jiggle jiggle. Yeah, there's fish back around that, which is great. I mean, they're there, so we just gotta get them to bite. Gotta get something soon, surely. Not sure what I gotta do here, guys. Put a comment below, what am I doing wrong? There's all the fish here, there's just nothing taking a bait. I'm thinking I might take that um, that float off of the rod and put a biodegradable balloon on, just because of the wind and let it take out there a bit further, because there doesn't really seem to be anything hanging around. I haven't seen any kingies yet, so yeah, let's do that. Rightio guys, we've got our balloon with our half pilly rigged on it, all ready to rock and roll. Drop that out in the water and Get that to hit the water. Our uh, first fish of the day. Little garfish. Not sure if it's legal. It's not that big. Definitely. Hey! No oh, shut all over me. That's great. Just settle, buddy. South Australia. Garfish. 21 centimetres from the lower bill. So he's. 23 from the top bill sorry he's 23 i will keep him and see if we can catch some more so we've got potentially our first squid yeah it's just a squid feeding on a teaser no hooks on it just the tommy yeah it's definitely some weight there hopefully it's a squid and not a crab uh, it's definitely a squid hey, he's pretty hungry feels like a decent Feels like a decent size. He's oh, he's come off. We'll just let him come back to it. He should come back to it. No, yeah, strange for him to jump off and dive straight down. It's almost like he was fleeing. Normally they come straight back to it when they let go. Well, that was super weird because that was a good size squid, and I've never seen them like just let go of the teaser and then just dive, he just dived straight down like he was almost getting away from something. Could have been a kingy around or something else, but he certainly hasn't come back to the teaser and I've just got the squid jig out here as well, right where he went off. I've never seen them do that. Put in the comments below if you've uh, ever seen that. So we're back on deck, new battery in the GoPro, which is fantastic. But um, yeah, for whatever reason, that squid doesn't want to play ball and hasn't come back very disappointing right here guys so uh, we've got our first squid doesn't feel very big it's a baby compared to the one that we got on that teaser but it is a squid even uh, actually being that small i'm going to put it on the live bait because that is the perfect sort of kingy size squidly diddly. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but my balloon's gone down a little bit. Let's take this. Uh, I'm just going to. Uh, Pin him through there, and then let this down. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's alive, he's gone white, and he's trying to swim away. Yeah, he's starting to go down now, finally. Took his time. Radio guys, we do have a squid on the teaser. Feels reasonable size. Not really pulling like that very first one did. There's a couple of pulls there. Just pulling it in really gently. I don't want to lose it like I did that last one. He seems to definitely be hooked onto it pretty well. So it's got his tentacles all the way around it. Not fussed at all that he's right on the surface by the looks of it. We've got our glow tiger there down in the 
he's probably a medium sized one yeah, he's not letting go who knows he might not even let go now he's swimming back and he literally <laughs> swam right over and jumped straight on to my jig he oh no he's thinking about it oh don't go away got him just had to let him get it properly reasonable size might just have to do this drag up a bit that's not bad there you go he's on the inku inku glow tiger pretty good size hey miss me so that's the main thing oh my god stop it buddy so that's it there medium all right fish shoes I have a bit of a tangle in my um, teaser line but that's not going to stop us because we've got another little squiddly diddly on this actually looks like a really good size one let's just see how we go hasn't let go yet oh he has now so we're just going to let that fall and he should come back to it he's grabbed it again I was lucky I'm just going to bring him just gently. We don't want to spook him off, scare him off. Just gently over to the glow tiger that's in the water, the Inku glow tiger that's in the water. Whoop, he's like, no, I don't want that. I want that fish. Let's let go. He's went chasing it. He's going back. He should see my jig he has he's seen my jig he's thinking about it he's on it is he on the right end of it that's the question yes he is we've got him this is a good squid guys I'm gonna have to bring him up with the leader because I can't lift him this might be this is a large squid on the Hey, on the Inku Gold, gold Runner. Wow, it's, it's almost too hard to hold him. Uh, that That's really good. Um, yeah, that's perfect. We want a few more of them. two squid in fairly quick succession and if they're like the size of that last one whew, we will end up with a feed or three and we still do have our live squid out here so it could turn into a very exciting little session fishing from the Port Hughes jetty we've uh, just hooked onto another tiny I think squid it's got a Wow, that's, that's, that's tiny, tiny, it's as big as the jig, that is a bait, I thought that bait was small, we're going to bring that live in, we're going to keep the one that's out there, and we're going to put this one on it, because while this one's small, Oops, just got that all over my friggin' head. Sorry, I did that. Oh, well, that one. Well, this one is small. Oh, they're only just about the same size, but this is definitely a, a kingy lollipop. Oh, you have done your job, buddy. We well, want to put this little baby on. Oh, that is just a lollipop. Let's get that back out there. Oh, I'd be so happy if this just 
went off. I'd be happy with the hookup. I wouldn't even, yeah, I mean, I'd be disappointed not to land it, but now that that uh, sun is, uh, well, behind the clouds and it's starting to go down, I'm going to move from the Glow Tiger. to the Gold Runner. <clears throat> the Gold Runner has a really good shimmer. If we can get the box open. It's amazing how many jigs you can fit in that. You can basically double them up, so. <clears throat> That's the gold runner. You can see that shimmer, it's awesome. Just keeping an eye on that teaser. I may actually put a fresh fish on that. It's pretty, um, it's been pretty haggard up by the squid, especially that last big one. The S factor, again, just on the back of the jig, will increase your catch rates and Last, uh, the squidgies just last forever, so get, uh, get yourself some. We've got another tiny squid. Oh, they're so small. They're so small. I'm gonna keep it for bait. I don't know. No, I'll throw it back. I'm gonna catch their big mamas and poppers. All right, guys, we've got another good size squid here on the gold runner, the Inca gold runner. I'd keep telling you guys, these jigs are absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how, man, how many squid they've caught me in the last 12 months. Trust me, I'm not just trying to do it to sell you something. If you wanna catch more squid, you have to get some of these Inku squid jigs. Inkusquidtackle.com.au Use code Matt's Fishing for ten percent off. This is another good size one. Trying to get to it. Not even going to be able to lift him up. And there we go, on the Gold Runner. That's a bloody nice squid. Oh, and he's just uh, spat all over me. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, all right, I got the idea. Going to let a little bit more line out on this teaser, because I've just noticed those bigger ones have been a little bit further out from the jetty. Cool, huh? Bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Two really good size ones. Thanks again, everybody, for all the subscribes lately. I think we've had over 400 subscribers in the last 28 days, which, you know, it's just amazing when you think about it. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody. It's, it's, it really is amazing. I'm just a guy out here fishing, just doing, um, as I say in my bio, the, just, uh, you know, the struggles of, the struggles of land-based fishing in South Australia. <laughs> We're back at it. I literally felt this one. This is a big squid, guys. I felt this one just absolutely hammer the jig. Like it went dead, like it went taut straight, straight away. And I reckon this is gonna be the biggest one of the day. This, oh, oh my God, it could be a cuttlefish. I think it's a cuttlefish. Yeah, it's a cuttlefish. Look at it go. Not happy, Jan. I don't, I've never eaten cuttlefish. He's so big. They reckon they're just as nice, if not better than, uh, than squid. Oh, there we go. I just said I've never lost a jig. Well, I have now. I have now. That was one big uh, cuttlefish. 
Huh? Was that my knot? Ah, the line just broke. It's not the knot. All right, let's get back into it. There's a few uh, cephalopods around. It's uh, just another baby, but it's a squid. They can't get much smaller, can they? Yeah, yeah. Small. Just a little baby. Let him, let him go. I mean, they're perfect bait size, I get that, but you know, we've had one swimming out there under a balloon for how many hours now? <laughs> Uh, and there's nothing that wants to eat it. A fresh little tiny baby squid. Checked it a few times, it's definitely still there. Well, I'd love to get two more of those really massive squid. Four of those uh, would be a good couple of meals for the family. And we do enjoy Monday squid night. Haven't had it for a couple of weeks. So I'm sure everyone at home will be happy to see us having squid again on Monday night. Well, it's bewitching hour and it's been a bit quiet. The sun is just starting to come down. Um, it is a two hour drive home, so um, I'd really love it if you can uh, like this video and subscribe if you're not already and you enjoy the content. Um, and then uh, I guess what you can do is watch this video next.